you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna give you guys our top seven guns of season three of Call of Duty Mobile, or technically speaking, it is the second season of 2023 rank. I don't know exactly what you wanna call it, but quick disclaimer, I wanna mention this all based on my personal opinion. So if you guys have a different opinion, let me know in the comments down below. And also we didn't include special light guns slash as marksmen, shotguns, and sniper, because as I mentioned before, if you use that type of gun, you're gonna use those any way over these type of meta guns. And also, ladies and gentlemen, while I'm mentioning this, I, this is pre-recorded i'm currently in asia when this video is live so if you guys do want to follow my journey in asia uh, follow can we eat we're probably gonna link that in the description down below but anyway let's get into our top seven all right to start off our list at number seven we have the bison so the bison not only has a very manageable recoil it also has a pretty good damage not only can you three tap close range and long range it actually pretty much beams it also has 64 base magazine meaning that if you're a big potato this is a very good gun to use it is a very strong option and for those reasons this is my number seven Jokic is better and more efficient he might be more efficient but he's not better you can't just base the mvp on efficiency yeah but like when people talk about mvp they don't really talk about Jokic. okay yeah that, he gets MVP, okay but this is how i know you don't watch no, ball no, at I'm all telling, because people really... have been mad all year that they've been saying that he's mvp I'm just saying like, you, you know, but you got to take into account like voter fatigue that every other past MVP has gone through And there's none of that for Jokic Bobby's like I'm done here That's oh, not a done one. I don't know what that is that, Exactly Okay. Number six is going to be an SMG that got buffed recently. This is going to be none other than the Switchblade. So the Switchblade got a pretty sizable buff to its multiplier, meaning that it can consistently four tap at that medium range. It also has a fantastic close range time to kill. Some people might argue that QQ9 might be better on paper. Yes, but something about the Switchblade makes this feel a lot better than the QQ9. And we're going to talk about the QQ9 a little bit later down this video. But for those reasons, I much rather use the Switchblades. And ladies and gentlemen, and that's why it's my number six. That aim shake is not that bad. I shot that guy in the back. Feels bad. UAV recon standing by. Repeat. UAV recon standing by. Friendly shock RC is ready. Friendly shock RC is coming. These guys. There's no way these guys are actually real people. There's no way these guys are real people, right? So number five is potentially going to be a controversial pick. For a lot of people, this is their number one AR. This AR is none other than the Kilo. Kilo is a very strong gun. It's got a great recoil, the great attachments, as well as a great time to kill. It also has pretty good range. The only real downside for me is the fact that it doesn't have a three tap range, as well as having a worse iron sight when it comes to the base one. However, if you have any cool iron sight, like the anime one, as you see here, or the mythic, you can actually use this gun. However, I still think the other AR on this list is better than this gun and for that reason this is my number five you know what i'm saying so you know i heard this guy's footsteps here somewhere friendly shock rc is ready I lock it down. Is that swarms? I hate it here. Oh my god, dude. Number four is gonna be pretty much tied with three guns that I think is pretty much identical. It's gonna be none other than the Krig, the LK, and the KN. So these three guns are pretty much identical. They have similar time to kills. They have similar three tap range as well as longer range. For me, if I had to rank best to worst, I would put the KN on top and the Krig on the worst and the LK in between. But again, it's all personal preferences. If you have the Mythic Krig, you probably wanna use that. If you have the Battle Pass LK, you probably wanna use that. And if you're a free to play player, the KN is by far the best of all three it has the cleanest iron sights but the time to kill is all very similar so you really don't have to worry too much now i think the lk has the advantage of having a little bit more ammo and the craig might be slightly faster time to kill but in my opinion i think the kn is the most consistent of all three and for those reasons these three guns are my number four well he's beamed oh my zero people a that's fun 
Okay, can, man. Can's the best gun in the game. Ooh, laser. Behind us. I got contact dated! Getting shot in the back. Easy. Top grandma dead. Yeah. Easiest ace okay. of my life, chat. That was well, the easiest. All right, number three is going to be a brand new addition to this list. The buff to this SMG made it very, very strong this season. This is none other than the QQ9. Yes, the QQ9 got a pretty big buff to its hand multiplier, making it that you can three tap pretty consistently with the 10 millimeter mag. And if you have the 45 round mag, you can actually four tap pretty consistently at that longer range. Now, in my opinion, I think the 10 millimeter mag is the way to go, especially if you want to have this as the number three, because the time to kill on this gun is the fastest of any SMG if you hit the three tap. Look, you can use a 45 round mag. Like I mentioned before, I much rather use a switchblade, but again, personal preferences, I personally like the 45 round mag because holy smokes, that time to kill with the three tap is insane. Downside again, 30 mag versus 45 in previous season i would say the 45 might be better but with the fact that you can consistently three tap at that close range this gun is a 10 millimeter machine and it must use and that's why it's my number three finally oh my god jesus pissing me off i don't think you're actually sick oh yeah you're right my bad forgive you lying yeah i'm just lying Beam it. Bum bum dum bum bum bum. Dum bum be da dum bum be da dum. What? Uh, Anyone wins that one? Does not. Friendly boys. Nice advance there behind us, Bobbert. Oh! I got him, don't worry. Number two is gonna be an LMG that basically did not get nerfed for the last two seasons. This is none other than the Holger. So in previous season, I haven't put the Holger too high up. It's always been in the top tier, but it hasn't been in the top two. But the Holger is actually an insane gun to use in rank, especially if you like to play less aggressive camp in the back of the map. The 100 round mag with the disable, plus the mobility and the time to kill on this gun means that you can actually beam people, rotate around and beam more people. This gun honestly should be nerfed, but it probably won't because they seem to be buffing a lot of guns but for those reasons this is going to be my number two yep. i'm abused the hoger see hard point identified see it's got on the point already hard point identified ah oh, man i was trying to get spawns Oh no, oh no. I feel bad for those guys. I knew they were gonna spawn there too. Entire enemy team spawned there for me, chat. Isn't that crazy? All right, before we continue on with our number one, we're gonna give you guys two honorable mentions. These two guns are either very high skill gap or a very strong gun that got buffed recently, but we haven't tested enough. Our first honorable mention is gonna be the HVK. This gun is a high skill gap, high risk, high reward kind of gun. 29 mag is not enough, but it can two tap if you headshot, which I've done multiple times in SND, and it also three taps close range. So in SND, this is a absolutely monster of a gun it is a laser beam you can also use this on respawn but without having the extended large magazine size of the 44 round this gun will suffer and that's why it's not in that top seven gun yet so my second honorable mention is going to be the ak-17 this gun got a massive horizontal recoil buff and if you build this correctly it will beam i've actually had my friend space use this multiple times in mobile mayhem and he was actually lasering the only downside is i haven't tested this enough i know when 
I did use it, it felt incredible. So potentially speaking, this gun might even move up this tier list in the next few seasons. And that is my two honorable mentions this season. And to no surprise, our number one gun is going to be the CBR. So this gun has not gotten nerfed in the last few seasons. It just feels like COD Mobile is just gonna buff every other gun until it matches the CBR, making the time to kill on all guns incredibly fast. That being said, this is already an insane fast mobility gun with a crazy time to kill. Plus you have a 50 round mag. Honestly, do I really need to explain more why the CBR is so good? It's by far the best gun in the game. Okay, I lied. It's not by far. A lot of guns are coming up in there, but the CBR is the best gun if you want to dominate your ranked game. Freaking corner there. Slide in. Anyway, that's it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with my list and what do you think is the best up and coming gun. Honestly, I can totally see the KN moving up this list next season, but it's honestly depending on the patch notes we're going to get next season. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.